Welcome to part one of the Regen X generator uh, demonstration video. Here we have a conventional generator and in, in part one we're going to explain uh, conventional generator armature reaction otherwise known as regenerative braking in an electric vehicle. Uh, what uh, generator armature reaction really is and how it manifests. So in an electric generator there is a prime mover that delivers the mechanical input power to the generator. The prime mover can be um, an internal combustion engine, it can be wind, it can be uh, hydroelectric uh, mechanical power or it can be the inertia of an electric vehicle. So on no load when the generator is being turned by the prime mover uh, in this case uh, actually I'll do it in the clockwise direction when the generator is being turned in the clockwise direction on no load you can see that it's very easy to turn the generator there's some mechanical power that's required but it's minimal now when the generator is placed on load as I'll do here When the generator is placed on load, current flows from the generator to the load and a magnetic field is established around the load current, the current bearing wire. A magnetic and a magnetic field is established around the generator coils inside the generator and the magnetic field produced around the generator coils creates a counter electromagnetic torque which is actually trying to turn the generator in the opposite direction so if our generator is being idled by our prime mover in the clockwise direction and when placed on load, the magnetic fields produced around the coils inside the generator create a torque that's turning in the counterclockwise direction. Now, we're delivering about maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.8, it, it jumps up and down, but it's extremely hard to turn the generator uh, when you're working against the, the uh, counter electromotive torque. Now the uh, the counter electromotive torque produced by the conventional generator is a function of the magnitude of the load current. So the greater the load current the more counter the the stronger the magnetic fields produced inside the generator and the more counter torque is created now the regen x generator differs in its operation in that when the regen x generator and you're going to see that in the up in the in part um part two and and part uh part four i guess what you're going to see is when the Regen X generator is placed on load, instead of creating a counter torque which resists the prime movers uh, or the direction of mechanical energy in the drive shaft, the Regen X generator produces a complementary electromotive torque which goes in the same direction. So when the Regen X generator is placed on load, it gets the Regen X generator makes it easier for the prime mover to turn 
the generator, it's easier than when it was on no load. So we're going to show that in the, in the next video.